Good morning, guys. So it is a beautiful Sunday today. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. Today we have a change of scenery, as you guys can see. All right, just inside my pad. So today we're going to be reviewing the Elendino cigar, or the Julio R. Aurora cigar by Elendino. And um, still trying to learn where the names are, the names of the cigars, but it is a Robusto, my favorite, you know, style of cigar, and it's a five by fifty ring gauge. So let's go ahead and just crack this open. Today I'm enjoying a uh, coffee. Okay, I got my late hour cigar by David Off, and I still have my Cabo Guan Churchill style. I'm still waiting to try both of them. I uh, haven't done it yet. I do also have a selection of chocolate liqueurs I'm trying. I'm snacking on right now. Um, you guys should definitely check it out. I got my Bic lighter. Uh, I got rid of that stupid tray. Um, using my girlfriend's penguin. Um, little. It's not an ashtray, but it's a ceramic tray, and I'm gonna be using it as one. Shh, don't tell her. Also, I'm not sponsored for this, but I just wanted to show you guys the inside. Uh, it's pretty good. I do like the famous grouse. I keep thinking, I keep ca calling it the f the farmhouse, and I keep thinking that's a chicken. It's actually a, a pheasant. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be taking a couple of these uh, along with that cigar and my coffee. So it's real good. Let's get right to it. All right, so now we're back. Hmm. So. Further, uh, better detailed version for you guys right there. Oh, come on, focus. <laughs> you know, uh, it does look a lot better today because I'm inside and it's I got some light. You know, put a cigar. Okay, so it's very oily in smell. The the leaf itself is very very oily. Well, let's go ahead and let's cut it open. So, cutting right over my uh, little ashtray here, nice little crunch right there. Nice V cut, you know, still cutting pretty damn good. I have no issues. Uh, last time I did the double V cut in the last video you guys saw, it got me way too tobacco high. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. was not expecting that, so it's a big draw. That's quite a draw right there already. Let's toast this up. So the, the head of the cigar is very squishy, and it wasn't like that until I, I V-cut it. Um, most of the cigar is very solid. A lot of spicy notes right away. A lot of spicy notes. So let me go ahead and smoke this for a couple more minutes and see where it's at, and I'll show you guys later. So I got it burning now. Um, just relit it a little bit. It's very easy to draw. It's very easy to get smoke from, and it's not overpowering. There is a lot of spiciness to this cigar. Um, with the addition of those chocolate liqueurs, I only had two. Um, and the coffee that I'm having it's a real spicy kick to it. Um, it's a lot spicier than, than most cigars I've had. It's definitely, I believe it's the wrapper and, and a lot of stuff from what I understand. It's um, when I went to the cigar shop, I asked for an all Honduras cigar and the, the gentleman there was like, this is basically as close as you're going to get to almost all Honduras. And it, it's, it's definitely spicy. And I would say the smell is very oily and it, it's it's not as it's it smokes 
like a hard cigar, like a like a full body cigar, but it, but the draw is very easy. It's very mild. It's I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, that's the first part, guys. I'll be right back. Um, gonna let this burn a little bit. We'll see where it's at around the, the quarter of the waypoint. So you're not watching me enjoy this the entire time. Because um, I want you guys to enjoy these videos. I want them to be short. I want you guys to start coming, subscribing, start commenting. Uh, I want to grow this channel. I want to get into bigger world of cigars and then review beer as well on this channel. And you guys are gonna love it. Um, thanks for joining me today. So let's go ahead and I'll be right back. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit more detail of what it looks like burning uh, as this is a lot closer. It's a very nice cigar. Um, you can actually get a lot of smoke. Watch this. But yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep coughing. I'm such a noob with this. But yeah, now it's starting to burn a little bit more evenly, uh, especially around that, that front of the wrapper right there, around that leaf. But... Um, Overall, it's a decent cigar. It's a very pleasant smoke once you get it going. It's very charcoaly. It's very spicy. It's very smoky right there in the very beginning. But now that I got it going a little bit, now I'm starting to notice a lot of spicy texture, uh, a lot of spicy notes in there. Uh, nutty, too. It's like a, a spicy, nutty feeling. And the, uh, the right there, that's my chocolate little curl devoured right there, guys. I did not use the Bic lighter. I'm getting a lot better at using matches. I only used uh, three matches today. So, very impressed. You guys can see I had another match ready to go, but haven't used it. But yeah, it's, it's very good, guys. Let's get right back to it. You guys just ever play music like on your Amazon Alexa or your Google Home? Uh, we have a Google Home, so it's not Amazon Alexa. It still works pretty much the same way. But I love uh, Revolution. It's, I love reggae. And I love their style of reggae. And it's... As you guys can see, actually, my hat says Santa Cruz. I'm a big Santa Cruz fan. I love Santa Cruz from the Bay um, and Mountain Brewing. So uh, definitely, it's actually the first uh, craft brewery I discovered on my own. And they're a microbrewery. They're not micro so much anymore. They're kind of outsourcing a little bit, but uh, they're all organic. And I love them. And when you go over there, the vibe that you get, they play this music. They make their own food. It's dog friendly outside patios it's it's awesome and i've been meaning to go but with covid cases rising it's it's been a little bit more you know i'll kind of stay home and enjoy myself right i mean i have today off i have tomorrow off because martin Luther King junior day i'm enjoying a nice cigar in my place got the ac running because uh you know you can't be sent off the fire alarm <laughs> my lady would kill me when she gets home and smells all this but this is so far um now that I'm at the, you know, that point to where I've got the wrapper to burn a little bit more evenly now, um, it's a very good smoke. It's a very easy smoke. It's easy to draw. You get a lot of smoke from it. Um, it's definitely not overbearing. Now, a lot of cigars that I've had so far, you get a lot of <coughs> there, right? And if you inhale this wrong, you can get a lot of that, but the smoke is not powerful. It, you do get a lot of smoke. It's a beautiful smoke. Um, I would say this is on par with what I've had with the Davidoff, but again, I've only had two Davidoffs, and that was at the very beginning I started smoking cigars about a month ago. Which you, you don't kill me on that. I know Davidoff lives up to the expectation, which is why I've been saving this one right here for a very special night. I want to try it to make sure it's not too heavy because I plan on smoking this with my brothers, but I don't want to be like, ugh. But yeah, and uh, you guys can look at my puppy right here that I got going on. Hey, look at that guy, a little Pomeranian playing around, having a good time. That's his sister right there. Love that guy. He's a little brat. He's about six months right now. We picked him up uh, at October 31st, so he's a Halloween dog, if, if you may. <laughs> so guys enjoy um i'm gonna let it get about halfway and i'll let you guys know what i think all right so i'm around about that halfway point it's a little bit right before it. I'm trying to make the video real short guys um may not be it's not going to be a full full review to the very end of it um 
usually I stop smoking anyways around the tab line is when I generally stop and I put down my cigar and I'm like, okay, that's it. I'll let it go out. Um, very good. You guys can see here. Let me go ahead and turn the video around real quick. So, uh, I'm just watching a, a guy talking about his stuff on YouTube. Um, so it's starting to have a stronger, uh, stench now. It's a very, very, th a very thick tobacco smell. And uh, it's not necessarily the most pleasant in an indoor clothes place, um, especially because I'm trying to keep this place smelling good. So I would not recommend smoking this inside. The uh, consistency with it smoking, you guys can see the, uh, the inside of the fillers. There's a lot of, you know, it's not fully compact, so it's very easy to draw on. It's a very quick burn. As you can see, I got some ash already going. Uh, it's a great burn. It's real, real easy, real smooth again, real spicy, guys. It's, it's very nutty. Um, it's very pleasant. I would recommend this to anyone getting into cigars. Um, it's, it's a very, I, I would say, it, it, maybe not a beginner, beginner, not maybe not your first smoke, but your first couple cigars. I would say it's a really definitely a good choice to go with. Again, the guy was explaining to me, you don't know what anyone's going to be able to smoke because you don't know their tobacco tolerance, you don't know their tolerance at all, what they can take, what, they, what they'll be able to enjoy. So, guys, everyone at home watching, thank you so much for joining me today for this video of the Elendino, the Julio, and the uh, Julio R. Aurora. I probably, again, butchered that, guys. So, have a great day today. Be safe out there. Have a great weekend. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, and I'm really hoping to get that late hour review in sometime this next week. We'll see where it goes. You guys take care. Thanks for watching.